Hi everybody. Welcome to what is now the Briar Rose Cottage, but was um, the Crone Cottage. Um, I'm, this is a wrap up for November 2022 and it's a setup for December and the 21 days of Yule. I don't know what's going on. So we've got the roaring fire going on behind us. Um, found this on Netflix. Um, I think it's the Birch Fireplace one. There's a couple of ones on there. One of them actually has music to go with it. Uh, there's three different in that one. Um, there's one with just the fire sounds, one with uh, music, one with um, holiday music. So you can, for those of us who can't have wood fire, you can pretend. <laughs> so here we are when we're pretending. So November. Um, it's been an interesting month. November, I think, is always going to be an interesting month. Um, there's just a lot that used to happen in November and it's still early enough in my grief process that hey Simon um, that it I'm still juggling what was versus what is and what is going to be so um, patience 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 breathing just relaxing um, I've been using knitting to relax. Uh, got some ideas for crochet, um, for some uh, stash bush thing things. I saw two videos that works for that. One is an actual Christmas ornament and another one um, is, um, or it could be used as a Christmas ornament. Um, their gift card bag stocking things um, and you make it sort of like a granny square but it's got some different stitches in it so as long as you know stitches um, Krista from Sacred Garden is really easy to follow on that one um, and then Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet I got hair sticking <laughs> um, Crystal from Bag o Day Crochet um, she has a, uh, this sort of shape, can't remember what it's, she called it, um, I'll include the link to that video in there, and you can use it for shawls, scarves, um, blankets, but I thought for those of us that use cotton thread, um, that finer yarn, um, we could use them to make actual Christmas ornaments because I remember that growing up and I've seen them on and off as throughout my life. The ornaments that are sort of shaped like this, um, a little bit rounder than that shape, but, um, the, but yeah, the, 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 and they would hang really, really nice once you stiffen them up and you could add little bits of uh, flower, tiny little flowers and sparkly paint or what, uh, glitter or something and make them really, really pretty. So um, I thought I would include it in this video today um, because sometimes as we're heading into um, the season, I know a lot of crafters have uh, got most of their stuff done or they're in the mi middle of stuff or whatever um but um this could be a great little way um to after the holidays uh to go through your stat and just do something for yourself or get set up for next year or maybe you need something quick um to finish up your packages and parcels and gift bags and and everything so i will include those um the sweater I was working on, um, the adjustments I made to allow for the yarn to just kind of drape, uh, made it bigger than I think what the pattern was um, 
intention for so I have to do something different for the sleeves and also right my diameters in here um, are a little bit different so I had to adjust for, for that too as well so um, so yes uh, and then Rob helped me with some stuff you can just see the bookcase over here he helped me get some stuff organized in the living room um, so as a thank you I'm uh, stash busting by making him a scarf that he absolutely needs because on days like today Hello, November 30th. Uh, feels like Rudolph should be here um, tonight because, like, oh my goodness, uh, uh, small little teeny tiny little flakes, but lots of wind and it's blowing and the snow is drifting. It was piled up against the back door again when I went to take compost out just a little bit ago. I decided to do the video after I did that and go feed the birds and um, that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so, yes, um, yeah, November's been up and down emotionally, uh, physically I've been having issues with my health, um, just the cold, I've discovered that the cold gets in, in, actually into my ears and then it affects the, uh, my jaw joint in here, so, I've been, you know, doing this a lot. Use my hands to try and create some warm air and wrap my head full, hood up over my head or use scarf or something like that, just to keep it so that I get less headaches in here. Um, but because arthritis is affected, osteoarthritis is affected by weather and anybody's got it in their hands or feet or knees or something like that, um, there's often swelling going on when there's a change in the weather. So it looks like that's why I'm getting osteo right in here at the jaw joint. And so I, that's a lot of where the migraines go. So um, finding creative ways to deal with that so that it's not taking out, uh, taking me down. Um, the other thing that has happened, which is making life a little bit harder here at the cottage, is the washing machine agitation cycle, it went. Um, so I've been, it still spins, and fills up with water so it fills up with water it drains it spins so um it's it's been interesting doing laundry uh we do have money to buy a second hand washing machine um the problem is is i don't want it downstairs um it's just awkward having the washing machine downstairs um there isn't money to retrofit the closet yet um, and the other problem is, um, how to get the washer and dryer here. I have seen so many washers, um, the dryer still works, so that's a yay. Um, but the, I've seen so many washing machines, um, uh, for sale on, um, yard sale sites in the area here. Um, but it's a question of, most people want you to come and pick it up and we don't have a truck so this becomes a problem so just taking a break going with the flow I bought a plunger that is making a toilet plunger that is making life so much easier I'm learning to put less stuff in the washing machine so no biggie deal uh, girl grew up with one of those old ringer washers had one of those for several years and I would absolutely love one of those because they most of them are on wheels I do believe all of them came on wheels so the ladies of the day could roll them around their kitchens or wherever they had them situated and um, 
could do their laundry. And that's the thing is I want laundry upstairs. I don't want to hump a washing another washing machine down the stairs and take this one up the stairs. I want to have laundry upstairs where it's easier for me to do and I don't put it off and, and that kind of thing. So uh, because I've discovered that I have a hoarding problem and I want it to go bye-bye. So if the washing is upstairs, then um, it, there's less excuse. I could just go throw it in there. I'll just walk down the hall and go throw it in there. Um, Dave could then do laundry all by himself if it was upstairs. Um, because I could show him how to use the ringer water washer or he could help me. So he could e more easily help me with laundry than um, he can now with it being in the basement because the being an old house, the stairs are brutally steep. They're not very wide. And um, even some days I don't feel comfortable going down there. So if I'm having a week of Disney or stuff, dizziness or stuff, I just get absolutely behind. Um, another issue with laundry is it looks like our laundromat, the only laundromat in town here, is closed for good. <laughs> so um, where I was going to finally, because I got over some of the health issues going on, uh, haul all the heavy blankets and stuff that need to be washed uh, to the laundromat and that ain't happening so and I'm not even sure uh, where is closest to go to even that has laundry in the area so just got some creative problems creative uh, thinking to go on to problem solve those problems um, but life is good. Um, Rob has said I can do some laundry over at his house, so I'll, um, I will be taking it at him up on that. Um, so that's good. Um, and one of the things, reasons that this month absolutely slowed down for me was near the beginning of the month, I went and got the COVID slash flu shot, the Pfizer one. And... A lot of people that I knew that took it um, had some issues with it, as always, you know, sore arm, a little feeling off, and I think, but it triggered my Renaud's really bad the next day, and it took a while to recover from from that. So that again put everything back. Um, the inability to be on top of stuff like I really wanted to really got to me. Um, so that created a bunch of depression, um, and things like that. So I am doing better. I'm not doing fabulous, but I talked to a bunch of people and they're not doing fabulous either. So sort of going around. Um, but on a happy note, December is tomorrow. And... December is the month of candy canes and Santa Claus and snowmans and where it's acceptable to be ho 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 and the grumpy people we can call them Grinches and just go about our merry little way and so I'm really getting more or less uh, focused on being prepared for that just really trying to get myself up so I can clean off the junk off this table. I got a bunch of junk on, uh, not, it's not junk, but uh, when Rob and I cleaned up, we emptied shelves, bins and things, and it, a bunch of it went on the table that's by the fish tank. And then I've had stuff piled up on the other table by the couch for a long time. So it's time to get that up so that I can get my space back so I can do my creating and my crafting and easier do videos. Um, and decorate in here, make it look pretty because as I've mentioned before, I absolutely love ambiance, hence there's a bonfire behind me. <laughs> um, so for the 21 days of you, I'm doing something different this year. Um, Money's a little weird this year 
it's, it's not just mine, it's Dave's, it's ours, it, you know, because we're living together. So, um, just wanting to, I think you're a cat hair right here. Um, just wanting to uh, be care more careful with it than as careful. I was being careful last year, but um, a little bit more, oh, this is my money, so, you know. Um, but anyway, so um, being, being careful with it. Um, so I did not order anything from the place I ordered last year. Um, I'll try and find her card and hopefully she's still up and going and doing her thing because that was so cool doing the mystery Christmas, uh, mystery Yule, pardon me, uh, for the 21 days of Yule just to see the different things. Got lots of candles and really interesting ornaments. Um, and so this year what I, I've done, um, is I went and got two flat boxes. I guess there's like, what, 12, 16 of the Ferrero Rocher. I absolutely love them. They don't quite love me so much anymore, but I'm going to do up an admin advent tree like I used to do for Rob when we were married. Um, just as an interesting little thing. And I'm going to use the three different kinds. I'm going to see if I can find my box with the little bags because I have kept that all these years. I've lost a few of them, but not all of them. And I'm going to get, throw a chocolate in each one of those bags and use that for my countdown. Um, maybe be, hopefully, I'm always hoping I'm more organized, but this is, um, it's a cool way to do Yule is these little teeny gift bags. I know my sister, my oldest sister Harriet did for us kids when we were living with my dad. Um, she did it for her family too. Um, the She did the joy because there was three of us kids and she put 25 peppermint candies on each of the letters and we had those hanging up and each day we were allowed to go and get one of those peppermint candies and have that and that was really cool and this sort of beats the um, thing that Walmart is changing. Yes, they might have the lowest prices, but a lot of their stuff is now becoming uh, um, high-end stuff. And all I could find was the uh, Lint, how do you say that? The Lindor, the Lint Lindor advent calendars. There were some of the specialty advent calendars because I was just going to do that. And let's open it up and see what the chocolate is in the picture, you know, just for something to do. And so I did spend about $12 on chocolate for the Ferrero Rocher, but um, it's, it was kind of sucky that they don't have the, do they didn't have the dollar ones out yet. Now they may be getting those in but I've, I've noticed that there is definitely at our fair friend w mart that um they're changing what they're selling and it is making a difference um as to how i spend my money especially with everything being so expensive so um but definitely doing an advent tree. I, I have a little tree. I couldn't find it. I went downstairs to have a look for it. Couldn't find it, but I've got other things that I can do. And you put the, I'm going to put the chocolate in each one of those bags. If I can find my bags, either that or I'll have to come up with something creative, maybe some t wrap them all in tissue paper with ribbon and hang them on the trees. And the thing is, is what you do is you take the bag off or however I'm going to do it off the branch and you replace it with, with an ornament. I have no idea what's going on. Could be the wind blowing up against the house and stuff or something shifted in the porch. I have three cats, four cats I can see in here. So it, I don't know, must be the wind slamming up against the house. Like it is not literally not nice today. It hasn't been nice the last few days with uh, 
change of the weather and it's supposed to be like down to minus 28 or something tonight um so very burr here um so anyways yeah you, you, i'm gonna take my chocolate off i won't know what it what it is so um which one of the three it is because there's the regular ferrero shake because i got the mix box the dark chocolate fudgy one and then the coconut uh, the Ruff Ruff Ruffalos or whatever they're called but they're really good <laughs> um, and so a little bit of surprise for you and me and uh, just go from there and then I've got lots of little ornaments um, that I can hang the other thing I'm going to do because I really do hate as my favorite time of year how quickly everything just seems to go in here um, I spend all my money on ornaments mostly I do spend money on gifts uh, I do spend a fair amount on, on, on gifts but I try to make them more personal um, and not just willy-nilly um, for some of my people going to a secondhand store and getting something that fits in with something they're doing or they're collecting and I only spending maybe two to five dollars on it that's great they absolutely love that um, I've done some shopping for people on wish to fill the, for the same thing I always check everything out uh, make sure it's a hundred percent because wish is kind of iffy some days um, dollar store Christmas for me too as well be creative and it works for me like um, I paint I haven't really been painting for a while but I used to paint a lot so the paint was like a dollar fifty for the craft acrylic you can get that for me if you get a bunch of that and you know three four tubes of that gray stocking stuffers and things like that makes life easy um, and then save the more high-end ticket price this is how I grew up the more high-end ticket prices was the family gift um, so so the other thing I'm going to do with the 21 days of Yule is talk about memories. Try not to repeat myself too much. Because um, I have some great holiday memories and I have some th memories um, that have just stuck with me. Um, things like the story of the Magi, uh, the story of the Magi, Gift of the Magi. Um, like. 11 12 years old heard that and it just absolutely stuck with me my entire life and I'm this is my 52nd Christmas the holiday time coming up so um, it's stuck with me for a very very long time um, I also thought I would um, take a look at uh, holiday traditions in other countries uh, based on my multi-cultural background, his heritage, you know, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, English, probably French, um, there's German, there's Russian, uh, I had a mom said my one grandmother was Pennsylvania Dutch and that's Amish, so, um, <laughs> you know, so, and not everybody does everything exactly the same. Some places, Santa Claus does not always come to some places. They have other things that they do. So this is really cool. Um, and there are traditions that people used to do that are not, weren't the safest, but were really cool looking and cool to do um, that we don't do anymore. Um, but sometimes, you know, who, who can forget the bubble lights in the 70s? I tell you, those things were so hot. <laughs> Back in the day when Christmas lights could burn you. Um, so, so, so things like that. Of course, there will be a game. I'll be hauling out my favorites for baking and uh, maybe doing a little bit of showing off stuff or showing you know the recipe and and the mixing I I don't know so it, it should be interesting uh, it will all be based on how well I feel um, 
some stuff may be filmed I may do a couple of episodes on the same day I don't know um, things but here's to saying goodbye to November and all of the yucky that went with that and remembering more any of the happier moments uh, that were there and sliding into the holiday season my favorite time of year and the joy of ambiance and happiness and lights and um, one night I will get outside and I will record just a, a few minutes or whatever I, uh, I got one of those lights it does the swirling thing with the multi I got multicolor when it does swirling thing um, Dave who doesn't participate in a lot said that was his favorite one so that's the one I got um, he's just not one of those I'm Norman Rockwell all the way with absolutely love if Christmas if, you know I could throw up Christmas in your app I do have almost enough stuff to do that uh, there's a reason why I'm hanging on to the Mississippi. <laughs> That's just me. So compromise with the man, and, uh, but embracing my joy. So thank you everybody for joining me. I, I hope everything is well with all of you out there. Peace, love, and happiness. Don't forget to be grateful, to count your blessings, because, you know, I'm grateful. I have opportunity to have this. Everybody here is more or less healthy. Um, there's food in the house. Um, and I have the ability to live my life more or less the way I want. Um, I'm proud of myself for picking my, as always, picking myself up. Um, getting a little tired of doing that all the time, but you know, at least I'm doing it. Pat in the back, proud of myself that I'm getting through stuff. Um, so there's less stuff in the house, and eventually it will be the way I want it, the way I need it for me. Um, and my happies, it's snowing, it's nasty outside, but it's snowing, it's white, and that's beautiful. So I appreciate every, each and every one of you that takes time to stop and watch my videos from front to end, from beginning to end, and especially my subscribers who follow all the time. I have some devoted people, so thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, peace, love, and happiness, and until tomorrow. Bye.